so youtube family i kid you not what if i tell you that walmart is making money off folio shirts right now so i went online and i was looking for things to purchase and i don't know what told me to look it up right quick you feel me you ever try to look at something you were purchasing it was a shirt i was trying to purchase that was black and white and mixed with some blue it's a it's a gathering i'm going to and I don't mind getting a Walmart shirt. It's a sports gathering. You feel me? And I'm looking online. I see this. I'm like, no, nah, I'm kidding. This got to be kidding me. So you probably think I'm making this up, ladies and gentlemen. I click on. Hang on before we even get started. We got to start the show the right way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Bless, one the best one. Let's start the show the right way. Smash that like button. Share this video. Let's get to some real information. Let go. So we have a situation here where Walmart say, screw it, bro. We are going to sell these shirts and we are going to say Vama knows. And then I thought about it and I'm like, it's not Walmart doing what well, Walmart is doing it. But you got to look at who's the person who's trying to sell it. Now, I found this person, Nino Nat. My question for Nino Nat is, did you talk to the family already? Did you make any regulations and, and, and meetings to give them a percentage? That I don't know. But the mom seems to be very smart. And I would think she would be the one to get some type of peace and interest in this. And something tells me a million percent. I highly doubt any of them or these vendors are giving money to the Charles Jones family. That's Fulio's real name, if y'all don't know. So if you think this is Cap, let me go to the actual website and show you hang on to pop look, look at this right here look this is the actual website ladies and gentlemen let's click on some of these things so you can see here look walmart let me move it for y'all look at this this is walmart let me refresh it so it can come back because i don't want y'all to think this is just photoshop see what i mean look at that bruh this is not Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen. They are literally selling Julio Fulio shirts in Walmart, and I don't know for how long. Low key, I would like to buy it. I just don't know who that individual is who calls himself Nino Nat. That's the one I want to get to. Let's click on it and see who this individual is. Because I don't want the money to go to people who don't even help the families with it. You know what I mean? is Julio Julio name copyrighted where anybody else can do it this this owner Nino Nat don't know if it's a female or a dude they got a lot of shirts that they sell of many people but okay I see a fake Hulk Hogan shirt Charlie Brown and Snoopy you you get you get the gist of what I'm saying you don't know if they had the rights to do it or not and for walmart to do it i don't know if the mom has a legitimate lawsuit because granted they can sue nino nat too if they didn't get permission from them but walmart the most for being a distributor and not fact checking and seeing where you know this came from they are liable as well but i know walmart probably has so much liability and insurance and lawyers when it comes to these vendors but this individual has a brand that clearly sells a lot of these things. I don't know, man. This this right here, y'all. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm a 35. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? Mm -hmm. And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. I just miss Colorado sometimes. You know, here I pretend the buildings are the old San Juan mountain range, but, you know, the job's just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. That boy don't work. He go to school and that's it. Mm -hmm. One day he said, call me Harrison. I said, who's that? He said, me. Do you believe that 
he is a white man. I mean, he isn't. Mm. I'd love to wake up one day and say, hey, everybody, I'm Rihanna. But I ain't. I'm a 35-year-old white man. Harrison. We'll be Let's get to that. Now, let me play the theme song. So looking at these shirts, we've come to the realization that a lot of people are going to tend and pretend to be allies and associates of Julio Fulio because people were telling me this was going on all through Jacksonville. A lot of people making money off his name, selling shirts all outside the flea markets. If you guys ever been to Jacksonville, um, I forgot their main flea market, the name of it. Uh, I've been there too much times to not remember, but they're telling me a lot of them shirts are being sold, but I'm used to flea markets selling shirts of people no longer here. It's almost normal for me to see this all my life where I lived at, at the Oakland Park flea market in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or Miami flea market on 183rd, or you can go to Swap Shop right there on Sunrise. But it's like to see Walmart, the ones who are actually selling this, bro, that that's something different bro how did walmart not fact check this bro like i said if anybody mad that i exposed this then you're a weirdo bro like nah gang because you get mad when bloggers make videos about fulio and y'all say a lot of slick stuff but i challenge you extra activists on youtube worrying about who's making a video about fulio why don't you go to walmart and and contest to this right here and tell them why do they have a shirt of Fulio being sold by this vendor, Nino Nat. Now, if Nino Nat is to the family of Fulio or has permission, I will make a video immediately saying, my bad, we got it wrong. Y'all see I'm a thorough brother and I, I don't, I'm not egotistic and so much full of myself to the point where I can't apologize and say I'm wrong. But in this case, I think I'm almost... 99 to 100 percent sure this individual here really clinged on to the fulio shirt wave and made a lot and what's creepy is i'm gonna look for the picture of what they sent me someone actually sent me of them or someone they took a picture of wearing this you know what i mean they tried to make me call it out almost a month ago so that mean walmart had to been distributing this right away after Fulio died. I'm talking about less than a day or four, two to four days after Fulio died, this was being sold. You know what I mean? Cause people had the pictures of this, of people wearing this shirt, but I dismissed it as maybe they're going to the funeral. This is a family over here. We don't talk bad about families or nothing like that, especially if they're not a public figure. You know what I mean? Now, if they're a public figure, they're doing interviews. We have to make a comment where somebody made a comment at. You dig what I'm saying? But to see Fulio being used in this way like i said all the people who have issues with bloggers making video you're making money ah. like bro anything you do in life you should make money but it should be done the right way see we cover the news and you have an issue with that but yet you don't have an issue with walmart of all places and things being the people exploiting this situation of all so I'm not, I, I don't have an issue with Walmart to keep it real with you. I don't have any fake outrage. I did this video to see how many people who claim they ride for Fulio. If you're going to go and seek Walmart and ask them, why is this being sold? Are you going to go to Fulio's mother since she's his manager and let her know? Cause I don't have her information. I would love to give this to her and say, look, mama Jones, look what they got. Do you, did this bypass through you? Do you know anything about this? Cause they're clearly making money. And if that's the case, you know what I mean? And to anybody who want to say, do we give money back? You clearly don't follow us. All we do is do giveaways. We give everything back to our supporters. Yes, money, knee grumps. We do that over here. We have organizations that we do here with our own money. You feel me? And my kids involved giving money to the homeless, giving food to the homeless, not just on Thanksgiving, but we do it on Thanksgiving as well. So I'm not out here to hear any trolls who wants to yap and we know who the fake ones are. The ones with the loudest mouths in the comment sec sections, chances are their kids and family can't stand them. And I understand that. But now to the ones who claim they ride and die with Fulio, go handle that. Go see what's going on with this right here. I looked up Nino Nat on Google and couldn't find anything about this couldn't find where they go and where it leads to and where it ends to nothing the only thing you can see they have another branded channel platform that's also uh interrogated with 
Walmart themselves. So I, I, I don't know what to say to, to this. It's actually a little bit weird. That is Walmart of all places. Like I said, much more of a flea market would have been more normal to see versus this. But I digress, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Bless, one the best one. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed. Peace. Thursday. I smoke G my with them magic. He my dog. He died in traffic with that brand new Glock 380. Went to see the voodoo lady. I'm on high shit right now. That woo done turn me crazy. With a brand new black Mercedes. It's just stay live. Be my baby. I see so many Z's. It look like double Z's. OMG. Red and blue flag hanging on my back. That extra swag. 90210. You know I'm from the roads. Rock and roll. I'm motherfucking locked there. With the sack. Three for sale. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on that Adderall, Adderall, can't you tell? Yeah, I might be on that perk. Set on feelings on my shirt. Set on snow. I smoke.